This tutorial continues our previous tutorial where we learned that if an application is running under development environment, then ASP.NET Core provides a use developer exception page middleware that catches unhandled exceptions and provides a detailed information about the snapshot state of the application. But that feature is not recommended for production environment because that could be potentially used by a hacker also and therefore a developer should provide a custom page to filter out the information that finally reaches the display. Let's learn how to do it. Before that, let us first understand why we need a custom exception page. The exception page provided by the use developer exception page middleware is too detailed. It is not advisable to reveal too much information to general public because it could be used by hackers. Moreover, this information might not make much sense to an ordinary user. A custom exception page can help us display a human readable message that could possibly ask the user to contact customer service or could possibly apologize to the user. A custom exception page. Thirdly, a custom exception page allows us to filter the information before displaying it. We can choose to show some information while hiding the more sensitive part of it. Let us now see how to configure a custom error page. Open the program.cs file and set the environment to production. We could have done this through the launch settings file also and through, develop, through environment variables also. The whole point is to ensure that our application doesn't run under development because we are now going to demonstrate how a custom error page is applied and how that comes into play. Use a conditional if statement to add a middleware called use exception middleware. This middleware comes into play if the app is not running under development environment firstly. Secondly, it accepts the path to the error page that will be shown to the user if an unhandled exception is caught. In our case, the error page is called my error and it will be placed in the root directory. Let us quickly recall the index page that we created in the previous tutorial. Open the solution explorer and double click to open the index CSHTML file. As you can see, this page has an anchor link that is connected to a handler on the backing class. Let us open the backing class also. As we can see the click handler, it throws an unhandled exception for our testing purposes. And now it is time to add an error page. Open the solution explorer and add a 